Alright, so in this video I'm going to be taking this picture here and redoing it. This is the White Tiger of the West from Asian mythology. It's got the element of metal and in the information I found, each of the beasts also has a season that it belongs to or that it like rains over or something like that. And the tigers is winter. Um, when I started doing this, I thought I had hit the record button and I didn't. So I got like seven and a half hours worth of work on it and then realized I hadn't recorded any of it. So the solution to that was going back and hitting the undo button 10,000 sometimes. And then just hitting the record button and hitting the redo button 10,000 sometimes until I got to the point where I was caught up and which I actually started to draw again. So this entire first section, you don't get to see any of my, uh, any of my mess ups, basically. Which, no. In, in one way, it's nice, because then it's like, oh, I did it all wonderfully the first time, and it's like, no, I didn't. It's, it's a lie. But I'm really happy with how this piece turned out. I did use um, a reference image for the pose of the tiger, adjusting, you know, the legs and the body a bit, because the tiger I found was a tad bit chubby. Um... But I made the legs a little bit longer and less stout. Um, the fur texture that I just added in doesn't show up very much, but it does. I still feel that it adds at least a little bit of a dimension to it. The way I'm shading in this one... <coughs> excuse me, sorry. <coughs> is different than how I normally do it. But I didn't want to end up losing the fur texture completely by shading the way I normally do, so I did the shading on a separate layer. Which worked out really well, I think. Um, one of the things I was really trying to do with this picture was challenge myself. That's sort of my goal from now on with my art pieces, is to not stay in my comfort zone. To make sure I'm trying new things and, you know, paying more attention to the detail, um, actually creating a decent background, I'm adding more texture to what's in the actual picture rather than just going, okay, it's here, and it looks okay. Good enough. Because that's what I tend to do, is it's like, okay, that's good enough, and then I don't try to push it just because, you know, it's either time-consuming or it's just... I'm not in the mood to do more for one reason or another, and I know that's not exactly good when you're an artist to just go, eh, it's good enough, I'm done. Because um, you'll never get better if you don't push yourself, and I realize that, and I struggle with it. So that's what a lot of the pieces that I'm working on right now are specifically aimed at towards me is just to push my own boundaries and to get past the blocks that I've essentially created for myself, which include, you know, different positions, different texturing, um, trying to create different effects. Like with the stripes on this tiger in particular, I'm trying to make it look as though it's something like molten metal which is not something I'm used to doing, like, at all. It's, it's not something that's drawn very often, let alone by me. Um, of course, I was a little stupid, I guess, and didn't even look up any references, which I should have done. But regardless of that, I do think it turned out really well. Um, it could have been better, again, if I had bothered to look up a reference. As for the... Um, other beasts in the the mythology, there's four other ones. The Black Taurus of the North, the Azure Dragon of the East, and the Vermilion Bird of the South, and then the Yellow Dragon of the Center. Um, if you watched my doodle video uh, for this past week, you'll have uh, heard me talk about it a little bit. 
Um, at the end of the video, I'll put in all of the pictures that I have so far that are the redone versions. Um, for the Vermilion Bird, which I've redone, um, I'll also throw in the, uh, the previous version of it as well, just so you can see the difference. The old versions for the for all of the beasts are about four year old four years old. Um, so I figured it was time for for an update. Um, what I'm trying to do right now is the idea is that as the tiger walks, the molten metal sort of drips off itself. And so you know it's as it's walking it's the metal that it's left behind is hardening, and right underneath it, it's still very hot. I feel like I did a decent job, but again, I didn't look up references, and I should have. Um, and then, basically, I tried to put him into a sort of metal wasteland that's just been created by, um, well, actually, I make it a her when I do because one of the other things I've been doing is taking the beasts and making them human-like characters. And I say human-like because they're not actually human. Like, the bird, for instance, has wings and bird legs instead of person legs. Um, and I decided to make the tiger uh, a girl. But I figured, you know, you walk around for 10,000 some years and you're dripping metal everywhere, you're gonna end up creating a bit of a wasteland. So that was the idea behind the background. Uh, I'm not used to drawing metal. Or crag. So it was definitely a little bit different. And again, I stupidly did not look up a reference. Um, but I think it turned out fairly well. I think you can kind of see the, the levels in where they're stepping. Um, it's another thing I need to work on is perspective, um, both in positions and interacting with the background. Because when I draw, sometimes it seems to be very flat, like everything is just kind of sticking right on itself, like that leg isn't back, you know, behind the other leg. It looks like it's right next to the leg. I'm not saying that that's how it looks in this one. It might look like that in this one. I don't know. Not really. I don't think so. But it's just, you know, one more thing to add on to the list of things I need to work on. Um, but, yeah, added a bit of a glow, because, you know, if you're made of molten metal, you're going to be glowing a little bit. I kind of liked the idea that the fur ended up being a little bit more silvery looking than white because it almost looks like it's made out of like silver, like like the fur is silver or white steel or something, which, you know, just adds to the fact that it's a metal tiger. Well, it's not supposed to be a metal tiger, but a tiger with the element of metal. You get what I mean. So... I tried to do more of like a pale winter sky in the background just because again the season that the tiger belongs to is winter. Um, it ended up being a little bit darker than I wanted to though. But I guess you know it might be closer to night so that's okay. But I am, I am really happy with how this piece turned out. Just adding in a few little other touches here at the end. But overall, for what I'm capable of and the fact that I was doing several things that I wasn't used to doing, I think I'm going to call this picture a success. I'm not sure what I'm doing right now in the video. Oh, I'm reorganizing layers. Uh, the outside lighting and shading, which I've also started to try and remember to do on all my pictures. Um, which, again, I didn't realize until recently was so... Uh, made such a drastic difference in how the image presented. 
it just it kind of really brings everything into into the picture and makes it all part of one piece. Um, I tried to do a bit of a slow move around inside the art program because my I still haven't quite figured out how to uh, use a lot of the effects in my video maker. Um, so it was just easier to try and do this to give you a better view of everything. Sorry if it's a little shaky. So, yeah, that's the finished piece, and again, the original. Um, scary. And then the new one, right next to it. And then it would be the old version of the vermilion bird, which ended up being more like a literal firebird, and that's not what a vermilion bird's supposed to be. And here's the new one, where I just kind of put fire on the wings and tail. And then the humanized version of the bird. And then the last one that I'll show is the humanized version of the yellow dragon. And those are all of the ones that I have done for now. So, till next time.